buddy. Karen's a good mom. Look at how chubby her babies are. Hi, Karen. It's okay. And they're all looking really good. She's like, what are you doing? Those are my babies. Hi, Millie. You just chilling with your babies? This is Mrs. Brown. She's due in three days. So we're gonna get her a nest box today. And she's looking pretty chubby. Hey, are you looking pretty chubby? You're a good girl. Mrs. Brown is grand champion eligible. She's got three legs from rabbit shows but she doesn't have a full pedigree, so she can't be granted. So she's come a brood doe instead. This will be her first litter. Isn't she beautiful? And here we have Charmaine and her babies. Hi, babies. Got a couple of broken casters, some tricolors, booted, not showable, but pretty. At least one of her babies is heading to New Brunswick this year, next month, once they're weaned and ready to travel. And here's Brownie with her babies. She's just got them underneath her right now. And here's her friend with her babies. For the first couple of days since they hatched them within 24 hours of each other, they traded a couple of chicks, so we don't know whose is whose, but they've all claimed a mom, so that's all we need. This little gal is Brita. She's also going to have some babies in a few days. We're hoping for a big litter because I'm trying to increase the size of my red Rex herd. So right now she and one other doe are the only red does that I have. She's a booted red. 
So she's not showable because she doesn't have enough white on her. But she is gonna have some babies, hopefully. And then I will hopefully have some showable reds. And this here is Chiquita. Hi, Chiquita. You're a good girl. Yeah, that's your water dish. We'll get you some water. Chiquita's due in about a week, and she's already very large, so I'm expecting a very big litter. Chiquita's a creme d'argent, and she is the sweetest little thing. And this here is broody number three, who had her chicks. She only hatched out four, but they're doing really well. I've got them upstairs in a separate room from all the other ones until they get a little bit bigger. So they're in with the silver foxes. So this here is a silver fox litter that has mostly black and one blue silver fox. But it also has one little caster baby from a doe that only had one, and that is a Rex. And it was the mom's first litter, and she overgroomed the baby and bit off two of its, two of its ears. <laughs> Both of its ears, it bit off little bits of it. So it's, uh, it's named Evander. I don't know if it's a doe or a buck, but its name is Evander because she bit its ear. And then it's also got a couple of other little additions from another litter of Rex. Because the mom had 11. And so, and this gal only had six babies. So then she's a really good mom, even though it's her first litter. And her name is Maple. And this here is Bazinga. Bazinga is my very first silver fox rabbit that is a grand champion. I've sent away for the paperwork. Hopefully that'll be coming soon. She also is my only rabbit that's won a reserve in show. And also two of her babies did very, very well at a recent show that I went to, and I'm hoping that they will also do well in the future. So she's named Bazinga because I entered her in a show to fill a class, and she ended up winning Best of Breed and Reserve and Show, and that was when she was a junior. And her two babies are Penny 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 and Bernadette. And I also have a son called Kripke. Are you sensing a theme here? <laughs> it's from Big Bang Theory. She's a sweet girl too. Aren't you? You're a sweet girl. And this mama had a very large litter of nine. And they're all doing very well. She's a chocolate, and obviously she's bred to a black. But she gave birth to a bunch of chocolates and a bunch of blacks. Didn't you? Hi, babies. So, yeah, she's a silver fox as well. They're so adorable. So I have black, chocolate, and blue silver fox. I've been debating getting out of the chocolate and just doing black and blue because it's hard. They breed like rabbits and I want to keep them all. But I really, really love the blues. And here is Super Mom Cinder, the one who pulled 8,000 yards of fur. She did very well with her babies. She's only got one of her own babies left in there. 
And then she's got the litter of little Rex bunnies that she fostered. And they all did really well. As you can see, they're beautiful babies. Hi, baby. I love this little guy. He's so beautiful. Look at the beautiful caster color. But it's a boy. So they're going to get weaned very soon. And she's just chilling. So yeah, that's about it for today. I thought I'd give you a little intro to some of the bunnies and the adult rabbits because I haven't really done that before. You'll probably be seeing quite a few of these youngsters in future videos because they're very nice. <laughs> so. Hope you all had a great weekend and we'll see you next time.